वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस कंटिन्यू विद सम मोर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी टू बैलेंस डाइज आर थ्रोन वंस राइट डाउन ऑल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट व्हाट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट सम ऑफ नंबर्स ऑन टू डाइज इज सेवन इलेवन मोर देन टेन लेस देन टू लेस देन थर्टी एंड अ प्राइम नंबर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we are asked to write the outcomes so there are total 36 outcomes of experiment of throwing two dice so it is possible that on first die one may come and on second die also one may come so the first outcome is 1 1 similarly 2 1 3 1 like that the 36 outcomes are given over here you can see now the first event is the sum of numbers on a dice is 7 now from all these outcomes you need to find the sum so you can see that the favorable outcomes are 1 6 1 plus 6 is 7 similarly 2 and 5 that is 2 plus 5 is 7 3 4 that is 3 plus 4 is 7 4 3 5 2 and 6 1 so the favorable outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 and Six. So the probability of getting a number which is whose sum is seven is six by total outcomes that is thirty six. So the answer is one by six. Next is the probability of getting sum of numbers on a dice eleven. So there are only two favorable outcomes five six and six five. That is six plus five is eleven. so the probability is 2 by total number of outcomes that is 36 2 by 36 that is equal to 1 by 18 next is we have to find the probability of getting sum of numbers on a dice more than 10 so the favorable outcomes are 5 6 6 5 and 6 6 you can see that if you take the sum of these two numbers it is more than 10 so the favorable outcomes total number of favorable outcomes are 3 so the probability is 3 by 36 that is equal to 1 by 12 now next is we have to find the probability that the sum of numbers on a dice is less than 2 now the our first outcome is 1 1 whose sum is 2 so there is no outcome whose sum is less than 2 so it is impossible event and we are knowing that the probability of impossible event is zero so the answer to this question is zero now next is we have to find the probability that sum of numbers on a dice is less than 13 if we take the outcomes the maximum numbers sum of numbers which we are getting is 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 which is less than 13 so all the outcomes are having the sum whose which is less than 13 so the probability is 36 by 36 which is equal to 1 now last is we have to find the probability that sum of numbers on a dice is prime number so the prime numbers which can be included over here are 2 3 5 7 or 11 because the last number that is 6 plus 6 is 12 so these are the prime numbers which are less than 12 and the total number of outcomes whose sum is a prime number are 15 here you can see which 15 outcomes are there so the probability is 15 by 36 that is equal to 5 by 12 Now the next question is a coin is tossed with three times find the probability of following events first one getting at least two heads second getting exactly two heads third getting at most one head and fourth getting more heads than t now first of all we should find the outcomes now in such question for finding the outcomes you have to see that how many times coin is tossed it is caused Tossed with three times, so the number of outcomes will be two raised to three, that is equal to eight. If it is tossed two times, then the number of outcomes will be two raised to two, that is equal to four. So this you have to keep in mind while solving this kind of sums. So here the outcomes are h h h h h t h t h t h h h t t t h t t t h and t t. 
Now so, the first, first one is thing is we have to find the probability of getting at least two heads. So we have to find the outcomes in which minimum two heads are there. More than two heads we can consider, but we can't consider less than two heads. So you can see there are four favorable outcomes. So the probability is four by total outcomes that is eight that is equal to one by two. Next is probability of getting exactly two heads. Here you can see that there are three outcomes in which exactly two heads are there. So the probability is three by total outcomes that is eight. So probability is three by eight. Now the next is we have to find the probability of having at most one head. So we have to find the outcomes in which either one head is there or less than one head is there but there should not be more than one head. So the number of outcomes, such outcomes are four. So the probability is four by eight, that is equal to one by two. Next is we have to find the probability of having more heads than T. So we have to find the outcomes in which there are more H than T. So there are four such outcomes. So the probability is four by eight, that is equal to one by two. Now the next question is Goopy buys a toy for his son. If it is non-defective, shopkeeper takes out one toy at random from a box of 10 toys containing three defective toys and other good ones. Find the probability that Gopi buys the toy and Gopi does not buy the toy. So here total number of toys in the box are 10 and from those 10 toys, three toys are defective. So the non-defective toys are 7. Now here Gopi will buy the toy only if it is non-defective so the probability of gopi buying the toy is number of non-defective toys that is 7 divided by total number of toys that is 10 that is equal to 7 by 10 is equal to 0 0.7 now the next is we have to buy, uh, find the probability that gopi does not buy a toy here you can see that this event is a complementary event of event a event a was gopi buys a toy and this event is gopi does not buy a toy so this is complementary event of event a and we can use that formula also for finding the answer we will solve it by both these methods so by first method the probability that gopi does not buy a toy is number of defective toys are three so three by total number of toys that is 10 so the probability is three by 10 that is equal to 0 0.3 now we can use the formula for complementary event also that is p of a bar is equal to 1 minus p of a. So what is probability that Gopi buys a toy? 0 0.7. So the probability that Gopi does not buy a toy is 1 minus 0 0.7 that is equal to 0 0.3. Now next is a card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of getting an ace. Ace means A. Second one getting a queen of red suit and third one getting a club card. Now we have already studied in 9th standard that there are 52 cards in a pack which are divided into 4 suits and each of the suit is having 13 cards. These suits are shades, hearts, diamond and club. Heart and diamond are of red color and club and shades are of black color. In each suit there is ace that is a king queen jack and 2 to 10. So the total number of possible outcomes here are 52 because there are 52 cards. Now here you can see that there are 4 suits and in each suit there is 1 a. So total number of a is in the pack are 4 so the probability of getting an ace is 4 divided by total number of cards that is 4 by 52 is equal to 1 by 13 second is probability of getting a queen of red suit now we are knowing that hearts and diamonds are of red color and in both of them there there is a queen so total queens of red color are 2 so the probability of getting a queen of red suit is 2 divided by total number of cards that is 52 is equal to 1 by 26. Now the next is we have to find the probability of getting a club card. 
we are knowing that in a pack there are total 13 club cards so the probability of getting a club card is 13 by 52 that is equal to 1 by 4 now the last question which we are going to see in this chapter is two players sangeeta and reshma play a tennis match it is known that the probability of sangeeta winning the match is 0 0.62 what is the probability of reshma winning now here you can see that directly probability is given and here it is a complementary they are the complementary events of each other two players are playing from this the probability of one player winning is 0 0.62 Six two. So the probability of another player winning will be its complementary event and we are knowing that the formula for complementary event is 1 minus P of A is equal to P of A bar. So here they have taken P of S as probability of Reshma win as probability of Sangeeta winning and P of R as probability of Reshma winning. So probability of Reshma winning is 1 minus probability of Sangeeta winning that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.62 that is equal to 0 0.38. So in short answers they may ask this kind of questions in which direct probability is given. With this we end our chapter.